Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam using moment area method. Length of the beam is given as 8 meter. In this beam, we have uniformly distributed load 4 kN per meter acting for the distance of 6 meter from the left support. Now we are going to find the moments MA and MB. For that, we are going to use the moment area method. In the moment area method, first we have to convert this fixed beam into a simply supported beam. You can see that I have converted the fixed beam into a simply supported beam. In this beam, we have to find the vertical reactions. First, let us find the vertical reaction Ra. For that, I am going to take moment about to B. Ra is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. So, 8 Ra. This load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 6. Then we have to open one bracket. We have to divide the distance 6 by 2. Then we have to add the remaining distance that is 2. For Ra, we will get 15 kN. Now we can apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find Rb. Ra and Rb are acting upwards. So both of them are positive. This load is acting downwards. So it is negative and the distance is 6. For Rb, we will get 9 kN. Now for the simply supported beam, we have to draw the bending moment diagram. In the point C, we have to find the ordinate. 9 into 2, we will get 18. In this diagram, there are two different parts. The first one is the parabola. Let us keep this part as 1. Then we have a triangle. Let us keep the triangle as number 2. We have to find the area of this diagram. For the triangle, we can easily find the area. But for the parabola, it is a little difficult to find the area because it is irregular. So we have to make integration and find the area. For that we have to make a section. I have made a section xx at a distance of x from the point A. In this section we have to find the moment. This reaction is acting in the clockwise direction. So that it will be positive and the distance is x. So 15x. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So that it will be negative. We know that with the UDL, we have to multiply the distance and distance by 2. We can eliminate this 2. Here it will be 2. x into x, it will be x square. Now let us do the integration and find the area 1. The limits for the integration is 0 to 6. Now we can take a calculator and do this integration. If you do not know how to do the integration in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and for area 1, I have got 126. Now let us find area 1 x1 bar about the point A. For this also, we have to do the integration. With the mxx, we have to multiply x. This is the only difference. For area 1 x1 bar, we will get 4, 3, 2. Now let us find area 2. We know that it is a triangle. We know the area formula for a triangle. Half into bh. Here the breadth is 2 and the height is 18. Using the formula, we will get area 2 as 18. Now let us find area 2 x bar 2 about the point A. Area 2 we have already calculated. Let us apply that. Now let us find x2 bar. For this triangle, the centroid to the back is 1 by 3 into breadth. Here the breadth is 2. So 1 by 3 into 2. Then we have to add this remaining distance which is 6. For area 2 x bar 2, 
we will get 120. We know that this bending moment diagram is called as mu diagram. Let us find the area of mu diagram. For that we have to add both of these. When we add we will get 144. Now let us find the moment of mu diagram area. For that we have to add these two. After adding we will get 552. Now let us draw the mu dash diagram. The UDL starts in the point A and ends before the point B. So MA will be greater than MB. So we have to make a higher line for MA and draw a smaller line for MB. Then we can connect them so that we will get the mu dash diagram. Now let us see how to find the centroidal distance and area for this diagram. Let us take a trapezoid having the heights A and B and having the length L. The formula to find the centroid towards the left is L upon 3 into A plus 2B upon A plus B and the formula to find the area is L upon 2 into A plus B. We just saw the formula to find the centroid distance towards the left side. Here L is 8. A is MA, B is MB. Now using this formula we can find the area L is 8, A is MA and B is MB. 8 upon 2 we will get 4. Now let us find the moment of mu dash diagram area. For that with the area we have to multiply the centroidal distance. We can eliminate MA plus MB. 4 into 8, we will get 32. Now we can equate the area of mu diagram and the area of mu dash diagram so that we will get the first equation. Then we can equate moment of mu diagram area and the moment of mu dash diagram area so that we will get the second equation. Now we have two equations. We can use a calculator and solve these two equations. If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, in the description below there is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and got the values of MA and MB. We have found both of the end moments. Now let us take moment about to B and find the vertical reaction or A. The moment in A is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative or A is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. So 8 or A. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 6. Then we have to open a bracket. We have to divide 6 by 2. Then we have to add the remaining distance 2. This moment is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. Finally for RA we will get 15.56 kN. Now using the rule sigma v is equal to 0 we can find RB. RA and RB are acting upwards so both of them are positive. The uniformly distributed load is acting downwards so it will be negative and the distance is 6. For RB we will get 8.44 kN. Now let us find the shear force values. I am going to find them from the point A. In this case we have to use right hand side rule. Upwards positive and downwards negative. Using this rule we can find the shear force values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. In this point the shear force becomes zero. In this point there will be maximum positive bending moment. In this point let us make a section and find the distance. You can see that I have made a section at a distance of x from the point A. We know that in this section the shear force is zero. Using that concept we can find x which is 3.89 meter. 
Now let us find the maximum positive bending moment. This moment is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. The reaction in the point A is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.89. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the UDL we have to multiply the distance and a distance by 2. For the maximum positive bending moment we will get 10.01 kN meter. Let us find the bending moment in the point A. In the point A we have a moment MA which is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. To find the bending moments in the points B and C we can use the left hand side rule because it will be easy. Let us find the bending moment in the point B. In the point B we have the moment MB which is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Let us find the bending moment in the point C. MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. The reaction is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2. For the bending moment at C, we will get 1.13 kN meter. You can see the bending moment diagram. In these two points, the bending moment becomes 0. These two points are called point of contraflexure. Let us make sections in these two points. Let us make this section at a distance of x from the point A and this section at a distance of x from the point B. Using right hand side rule, we can find the moment at this section. Then using the calculator, we can find the value of x. Then using the left hand side rule, we can find the moment in this section. We know that the moment is 0. In this way, we can find x which is 1.87 meter. Let us apply both of them. Alternatively, we can draw the bending moment diagram by combining mu diagram and mu dash diagram. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.